Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another video. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what we got for you right now. Well, if you like those classic Japanese cars, you're in the right video. Especially if are the ones that are quite rare. Even better. Well, let's see what we got for you right now. We have for you right now is a 143 scale, 1968 Toyopet Crown, which is a Toyota. I think Toyopet, it was the way they used to call it in Japan, but it's the Toyota. We know this car around the world as a Toyota again. <laughs> All right, guys, this is a beautiful example of a classy Japanese car. I love it. There, there, there's so much cute detail in it, especially like the wheels. Let's start with those wheels. It has that white, white wall around and those beautiful looking rims. And just the style altogether of this Toyota, Toyota pet. I'm going to call it Toyota because that's the way it's, it's written in the base, but it, it's a Toyota again. But again, this car is super, super attractive. Just so you know, this is the third generation of the Toyota Crown. This was the last version that was actually called Toyota. Then after that, it was called Toyota after the third generation. But again, I think in other parts of the world, it was actually called Toyota already. Just to, you know, be understood in that part. Okay. Model-wise, this car came in different shapes and forms. You had a four-door sedan. You had a four-door station wagon. You had a two-door coupe, which is the one that we're looking at right now. And then you had a two- or a four-door coupe utility. Which, if I'm not mistaken, the coupe utility is like a station wagon uh, type. One is a two door, another one's a four door, like a like a double cabin, and it's quite tr attractive but strange, because especially the one that's four doors, it looked like they chopped the rear end, like the rear end roof, and they just made an open cabin. But it's a, it's not bad looking. It's just, it's a looks that you have to like start appreciating after a few times that you look at it. At the beginning, you may say, "Hmm, this model looks quite weird to me." But again, it's not bad. A few cars I've seen have done that. A few cars. Now the front end of this car is so attractive. It's really, really those cars that. And you know, the thing is, I've never seen one in person of this specific year. I don't remember ever seeing one in person. And, but I've seen lots of pictures and I've seen the, how really good looking they are. So maybe one day I'll find someone that had, had export, exported one to the States and they have it on a few, uh, like a Japanese car shows around the country and they'll probably showcase their car their beauty but uh, really good looking really good looking now let's talk about the engines that's what a lot of people would like to know the engines of the car you had a smaller engine which is a 2.0 um four cylinder and then you had the six cylinder version of the 2.0 and then you had a 2.3 six cylinder also so not huge in the size of the engine but maybe because they made it a six cylinder it makes it a bit more powerful or you know durable probably now transmission wise you had a few options you had a three speed manual with optional overdrive you had a four speed manual then you had the two speed automatic or you had also a three-speed automatic. Nice, nice looking. By the way, guys, so you know this model, they were sold between 1967 until 1971. 
So this is the old school Toyotas or Toyopet that they were not sold in many countries around the world because you know Japanese cars started getting very popular. I would probably say in the late late seventies, early eighties. That's when, especially the eighties, was an era that really came out with a lot of speed for Japanese brands like Honda, Toyota. Nissan, well, Datsun, and then Nissan. Um, a little after, you probably could include Mitsubishi a little bit. They had a few models that kind of stood out. And maybe Mazda. Not Mazda and Subaru are two brands that they didn't really have a lot of attention until later, I would say probably the 90s. The 90s were more of the era for Subaru and Mazda and probably Suzuki a little bit, but not big. Suzuki never had a big following, in, at least in the States. And then we have Isuzu. That they had a few nice cars, but not a great. Fortunately, their reputation, with their, bal their balancing was not really good. And then to talk, the last but not least of the Japanese was Daihatsu that they only sold about three, four years and they sold very little numbers, not very much. All right, just a little class of Japanese cars, 101. <laughs> I'm going to let it go around. Excuse me. Let it go around a few times. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So what do you guys think about these Toyotas from back in the days? Did you find them attractive? Did you think these were the Toyotas that you really fell in love with back in the days? Because nowadays, unfortunately, um, some of these Toyotas are not really the most attractive cars. And then we, we want more out of Toyota. But, you know, then we say, okay, let's buy a Toyota because they're reliable. It may not be the prettiest, but they're reliable. So, again, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about it. You like them now better? You like them before? Have you ever seen this one in person? And what do you guys think about it? Did you like it before? Or like, like it now? Maybe because now it's a classic? Or maybe you were not even born back in the days when it came out in 1968. I wasn't, unfortunately, because I wish I love these car classic cars. Maybe I have an old spirit. I don't know what's going on with me, but I really, really enjoy them. All right, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Don't forget to comment below and let me know. Don't forget to give me a beautiful thumbs up before I forget. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for, for um, showing me your interest in these videos. And don't forget to click and subscribe and click the bell next to the subscribe button that will remind you when I'm posting more videos. Alrighty, everyone. Take care of yourselves more than ever. And goodbye.